Hi, I am Dr. Guru Prasad Hosokar, consultant neurologist at uh, Columbia Referral Hospital, Ashwantpur. My special interest is uh, Parkinson disease and movement disorders. The commonest cause for drug-induced Parkinsonism is neuroleptics. So, uh, when most of the drugs coming under this category can cause some amount of uh, Parkinsonism. If you compare the conventional neuroleptics, the older generation neuroleptics and compared to vis-a-vis -vis the newer generation neuroleptics, the, the incidence or the severity may be less. But nevertheless, these also cause uh, uh, Parkinsonism. And there are also situations where Parkinson's disease patients do also have hallucinations and psychosis. We need to use uh, this set of medications. So we prefer usually the atypical antipsychotics like clozapine, quetiopine in this type of situation. So the newer generation drugs like clozapine, quetiopine uh, have less likely to cause worsening of the Parkinson's who have already have existing Parkinson's disease or were used for primarily uh, psychotic disorder they have less likely to cause Parkinsonism. Nevertheless, we need to have a close watch on these patients and we need to optimize the doses of these medications or switch over from one uh, set of uh, antipsychotics to another set of them if we come across this type of things. Mostly, the Parkinsonism can be reversible, but there can be some amount of residual slowness left even after stopping the medication. So, it, so entirely it may not be reversible and also depends on the continuation of the primary drug. So you need to continue the medications, neuroleptics for longer duration. So I don't think we have any choice. So I think we'll have to balance that and then use appropriate dosing uh, and the class of drug to minimize the Parkinsonism. Whereas when you identify medications like leucylpride induced Parkinsonism or valproate induced Parkinsonism, the condition can be entirely reversed. So I think you need to have a high index of suspicion when you come across uh, recent onset Parkinsonism and if you can identify the drugs we can definitely reverse the condition entirely.